Okay, let's get to Jeff and talk about our weather. Jeff, it's been hot all week, and yeah. you say relief is just around the corner. It is. Uh, as we roll into tomorrow, we are expecting some changes. Uh, you know, today, at least the air quality was pretty good out there. We didn't have any of that uh, thick smoke moving in from the wildfires, so a little bit of a respite from that. But if you were in those interior valleys of the north and the East Bay, definitely a lot of triple digits today. One of the hottest right now, Concord at 102 degrees. A little bit of a breeze out of the west northwest at 12, but that's doing little to cool you down. And here's the thing I really wanted to underscore tonight. If you don't have air conditioning, which some people in Concord don't have it or in Walnut Creek, uh, you need to find a way to stay cool because while well, we'll drop to the 80s by 8 p.m., that's still very warm for 8 o'clock at night and we'll stay with those 80s all the way through 10 p.m. Then eventually some 70s uh, into 11 p.m. and then right into the early morning hours. But again, that hot air we've been dealing with, uh, the good news, it does start to move off towards the east tomorrow. Tomorrow. So beginning tomorrow, we'll start to see about a 10 degree temperature drop. But here's the other thing we're dealing with as that heat moves off to the east. Think of this like a conveyor belt. One thing moves out. Now here comes another thing, and it's this low pressure system. So this is going to help to drive up a little bit of a southerly wind flow, and that'll bring in some humidity, a little bit sticky outside, and also the chance here of some thunderstorms. Now right now we're looking at the best chance of any thunderstorm activity in Northern California Thursday night, also into Friday morning. So because of that. We do have this fire weather watch up. You can see the areas in orange. That's who's under the best risk of uh, maybe some lightning strikes. That's over the North Bay, East Bay and parts of the South Bay. Overall, though, it's a slight risk. But again, we're going to be keeping our eyes to the sky for the chance of some lightning. Now, let me show you this. It might make you feel a little bit better and you can see where some of those lightning strikes would have the higher risk of going. And as we head through tomorrow, we're seeing those clouds move in from the south. Once we hit 1130 at night on Thursday, we get some of that instability, which could bring some lightning here. But the better bet would be off to the north of us and also over the Sierra. Not good news for them, but again, that's where that higher risk would go at this point. So as we started off for tomorrow morning, I think we're okay. As you get the kids ready for school, get yourself ready to get out the door. We had temperatures here in the low 60s. You're probably not going to need a jacket. Uh, this is not really going to feel overly cold, except in San Francisco with a little bit of that ocean breeze in 57. Now, daytime highs as we move through tomorrow because of that system approaching at the coastline, it'll drop off 10 degrees. That'll leave us at 82 here in San Jose. Right over to the East Bay, instead of low 100s, you're at 89 in Concord. That's better. For the peninsula, 77 here in Redwood City. San Francisco, cool 60s across the board. And for the North Bay, 83 in Santa Rosa. On my seven-day forecast, we will see some beautiful weather this weekend in San Francisco. Temperatures in the mid-60s, morning fog, afternoon sunshine. And across the inland valleys, we're staying in those mid to upper 80s right through this weekend. Some low 90s next week, but right now, triple digits are off the table beginning tomorrow. So good news on that front, but again, thunderstorms, not what we need right now as we uh, head through Thursday night and Friday.